are such an asshole. Good morning, kids. Slightly better Cappy today. Cappy was sick yesterday. Still sick today, but better. And that's what eating a ton of uh, Italian sandwiches, sleeping, and I had baba tea, baba tea, which is good. Uh, dear Aaron, I'm a 20-year-old and have recently graduated with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering with a 3.3 GPA with absolutely zero debt, thanks to a full plate scholarship. Bravo, bravo. It seems like I graduated younger than most people because I started school a year early and college is only three years in the country I was studying, England. I'm currently back home hunting uh, for over six months in my home country in the Middle East, and in all honesty, I'm discouraged. The unemployment rate in the country is almost 20%. I'm being dead serious. No, I believe it. I was, um, I had a buddy singing the praises of Tunisia, which I'm not against Tunisia. I was just like, why? Tun oh, this and that, it's way better than America, da, da, da. And I looked it up, and their unemployment rate was 33%. The princess is klepto. Uh, klep klep not kleptographer, kleptomaniac, he's a klepto dictator. And, and this guy just wanted to be the, it's different, I'm bad because I'm part Tunisian. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. 33%, it sucks. <laughs> so yes, unemployment can be high, but yours is due more to a, a, a recession. Um, with every job application requiring five plus years of experience, not only is the job market horrible in my home country at the moment, the idea of working a dead-end and mundane 9-to-5 job slaving away for the rest of my life is not something I want to be a part of. Well, what did you think being an engineer was going to be? <clears throat> all jobs suck. All of them. All of them. And the only thing worse than uh, having a job is not having a job. Um, but an engineering job would be... Uh, I mean, it, out of all of them that are 9 to 5, engineers are not the worst because you're at least doing something tangible. Throughout my final year of university, I started to debate whether engineering was something I even wanted to continue pursu pursuing or not, but I decided to fight through it and get my degree. Currently, I have a business idea that I'm pursuing, which over the course of a year or two should get me full-time income if I don't fuck it up. Not only that, it allows me to be mobile since the work is all done online. I can pretty much work from anywhere I want in the world. If I want to, there you go, that's smart. However, I'm conflicted because I feel like I am throwing away three years of college of blood, sweat, and tears to get a valuable STEM degree just to do something completely different. Well, here's, let's point something out here. Let's be more practical and very clinical, very, very empirical. How valuable is your STEM degree right now? It's not getting you a job. Now, we know why, because your economy, your, your country is in a, a very big recession right now. Um, but you're kind of facing the same thing that I was facing when not, well, I was a little bit older than you, but here I am. Oh, I graduated top of my class, had a great, yeah, that was my passion, I was really good, and I was, I, was, I still am, I'm great at finance, I, I, there's no doubt about it. Couldn't find a job to save my life. But you know what people were paying me, and were between 50 to $350 an hour to do? Teach ballroom dance class. And the first <laughs> I've told the story before, I'll tell you again. My first dance class I taught, I remember it was in Egan. Um, you're paid per student, and so depending on the number of students that enroll, determines how much you make. And uh, I asked, well, how many people signed up? And they said something like 58, and I'm like, oh, that's a lot. And so I did the math, and I had to check that I missed the decimal point because uh, I was making $350 an hour. And then I shut the fuck up and didn't care about teaching dance class. Yeah, and, and, you know, asshole consulting. Is this finance? Did I go to school to become an asshole? No, I was born this way, baby. Um, rental income. I'm trying to think what else, how else do I make my money? YouTube royalty income. I mean, you make money however you can. All right? And what you hope is that you go to school to get uh, a degree <clears throat> or a skill or a trade that will help you make money. But sometimes the world, your, your environment does not play that way. Sometimes the environment, it's in a recession. It's ho horrendously corrupt uh, and inept like it was in the finance industry here, around the world probably. Um, what else? The technology changes, sometimes for the worse, sometimes for the better. Like Henry Ford built the, he didn't build the car, he built the assembly line. And he put a ton of, you know, horse farriers 
and they have been horse and buggy industry, all those employees out of business. But you look at today, without the internet, you would, you'd be stuck. But you now have this opportunity not only to do something online and sell online from the comfort of your own home. You don't, home doesn't have to be your country. It could be a nice beach in Thailand. It could be, um, was it Gao? Gao? It's a nice place in India. Uh, it could be in Switzerland if you like cold, snow, mountainous, and a lot of boring, quiet people. Um, people think I joke, but go to Switzerland. You'll be like, whoa. It's like, it's the world's library. Switzerland is the world's mountainous library. You have to be very quiet, and everyone's just very quiet. You're know, like, yeah, not for me. Not, no, nope, gonna drive me nuts. Um, so, I, I would say for one, you did not waste your time getting that degree. Uh, because you have it, that's gonna go with you forever, and you can apply for jobs, uh, albeit you may have to apply for work visas, but you could apply for jobs overseas, uh, and it still is a valuable degree. Uh, it's just, you know, economies go into recession. That's what happens. Uh, and, you know, when, when the economy was in recession, nobody was getting jobs. So it's, it's not you. It's not your degree. Don't take it personal. No, you did not waste your time. Uh, because let's say your business idea doesn't pan out. What, ha what now? Well, at least you got your degree. And, and you can apply and stand a better chance You've only been applying six months in, a, in an economy that has unemployment of 20%. That's expected. That's normal. I'm surprised, you know, it's going to, I'd imagine with 20%, that's a horrific unemployment rate. Um, I'd be a, applying for a year, apply for a year every day and then worry about it. Uh, but I, in the meantime, I, I still don't think it's worthless because I'd be applying overseas. You went to school overseas, and they certainly must be aware of some means or methods or venues by which you can apply overseas. And some places will have you. In the United States, hang on, let's look at what the unemployment rate is here. <clears throat> U.S. unemployment rate. I think we're still under 4%, maybe it ticked up. Oh, we're back up to 4 Uh-oh, that's bad. I do believe we're going to get a little bit of a recession here. <coughs> All right, is that the right data? Look at France. France is at, at, the, what, at, at what was France? They're super high. Yeah, we're back up to four. Wait, actual. No, we're at 3.9. Whatever. Okay. France, look at France, those 9.1. Oh, do you people even, they're not even in recession and they have half the unemployment rate you guys do. Oh, God, I hate France. Don't apply to France. Jeez, and retreatment. We surrender. Um, so, yeah, unemployment rate is still pretty good here. I'd be going overseas, man. I'd be applying overseas. But... That's only if your job fails, let's continue, or your business idea fails. Should I just discard the idea of being an engineer completely and do what I've always wanted to do to be financially free and start my own business and make my own money on my own terms, or should I continue looking for a job until I get one while I work on my business part-time until I get fuck you money and just quit? I'd appreciate a video response to this, and if you make one, I would like to have my name at the end of the email, anonymous. All right, we'll do. <clears throat> I'll keep you anonymous. Uh, what you're going to do is both. And what's good, if you could consider it good in your situation in regards to the recession, it makes it pretty clear which one you should be working on. Uh, yeah, you keep sending out resumes, but until you get a job as an engineer, the lion's share of your work should be going towards this business. And uh, you said it was online and all that. And I said, well, how much would it cost to start the business? Do you have to sell a family farm or something? Or is this something that primarily requires intellectual capital and thought versus money? I uh, said, this business is going to be based on providing services online. So it's primarily based on intellectual capital and thought, not a lot of financial capital. The only financial capital I'll have to invest in is the business would be in the form of an LLC or another legal entity to make the business start legitimate. Uh, which would cost me no more than a few hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, you can. <coughs> That's all it is. So you should be able to afford it. So, no. It, it, so this is very clear as day. Absolutely. Hell yes. Start your business. 
Uh, but this is no different than the other uh, bits of advice I give. You are going to always follow the two-prong approach. Okay. Uh, you have your regular daytime job that puts food and clothing on the table. Uh, and then you pursue your entrepreneurial uh, venture. And you know what? Uh, this recession may end up being the greatest thing that ever happened to you because, okay, you apply, you apply, you apply. You don't get jobs, all right, for the remaining seven or eight hours a day, you're working on your business. And you get this thing set up. And then all of a sudden, your money, is, since it's online, your, your, your customer base is immediately diversified outside of your home country. You're no longer dependent on that regional local economy. Your money comes from around the world. Uh, you are already very familiar that you can work from wherever you want. You can work from a beach, you can do here, you can go to very low cost of living countries. And then the pain and agony and the struggle of having to apply for a job and find a job as an engineer is gone, it's moot. And then, okay, yes, it was a sunken cost. Then, yeah, did you waste your time and energy on an engineering degree? I still say you wouldn't because what if your business goes belly up or something changes or somebody knocks you out in terms of competition? Then you have your job, a degree as an engineer to keep applying. But the, the whole overall point of going to college is not to better yourself intellectually, it's not to get an education, it's to get certified and qualified so you can go and make money. It is to make money. And if you can find a quicker, better, and easier way to make money where you don't have to look at a computer screen nine to five, then go and do it. I'll tell you right now, do I regret majoring in finance? Yes, but if I had majored in engineering or whatever, it would have made it a lot easier because I would have had the money and the jobs but I still would have fit that by once asshole consulting and running and this this internet stuff happened. I bye. No, I don't need to measure or use AutoCAD or anything else. I'll go yell at people on the internet. Um, so yes, absolutely pursue both. You're young, you have the energy, you have the time. You're way ahead of schedule. Schedule, there is no schedule, but you're only 20. Uh, I absolutely would. Uh, go and pursue your business online. I would still apply for jobs, uh, not because you, you figure, oh, I wasted my time, because you don't know how your online business is gonna go. It's not immediately gonna start making you uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars and get you fuck you money. Uh, every, every man, every woman must uh, do the two-prong approach, at least for a couple years. You have to work your real job, and you have to work your entrepreneurial job. Uh, because usually your business idea does not start making enough money uh, to pay for everything uh, right away. It takes several years. So I would keep applying to jobs. I'd, and if, you know, look at look at what your degree could get you. You could go travel and live in different places. You know, uh, try applying to I don't know. Have you ever want to been in Russia? Although I guess you'd have to learn Russian. I guess you'd have to go in Europe somewhere English speaking. Have you been to Australia? Have you been to New Zealand? Uh, have you been to East India? Uh, you know, you, you got the language skills for it. Uh, you know, what about, well, no, you won't want to go to Saudi Arabia either. I'm just trying to think what else in the Mideast. What would be cool in the Mideast that isn't war-torn? Don't go to Syria. Israel, maybe? Um, what else? You, you, you know, use that degree to get you to other places so you can go and check it out and just, just explore a little bit. Um, but, you know, no, you didn't waste your time with that degree. And neither of these things are mutually exclusive. So absolutely pursue both of them. And then um, you know, hopefully your online business uh, does well. Let me check the rest of the questions. Um, kind of there and throw away. Conflicted. Should I just discard the idea of being an engineer completely? No, nope, never discard the idea because you may need to become an engineer and do what I wanted to do to be financially free and start my own business and make money on my own terms. Well, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you were to be. You were not. You were. You were not going to technically be financially free and start your own business, and make money on your own terms, being an engineer. You were. You were um, not condemned. You were uh, fated to become an engineer, an entrepreneur then. 
If you wanted to make money on your own terms, start your own business, well then yeah, your goal is to be an uh, entrepreneur. Uh, but not a lot of 20 year old entrepreneurs make it. So um, no, dude, you're doing fine. Don't, don't let that bother you that you got yourself a degree in engineering. Uh, imagine if you gotten a degree in poetry or some bullshit like that. Then, then you'd have shame on top of it. <laughs> Here you're minorly conflicted. If you had majored in something stupid, you'd have shame. Oh, what did Bob major in? Oh, he majored in creative writing. And then the whole family just shakes their head. <laughs> All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Doodles.